Hello everyone. Every parent believes their child is the most talented and unique kid out there. That's just how parents are. But in today's video, we'd like to talk about truly extraordinary children that everyone considers unique. Simply hearing their stories, talking and listening to them, or sometimes even looking at them is enough to see that. Want to know more about them? Then let's get it on. Archie Norbury in 2019, four-year-old Archie Norbury became the youngest DJ on the planet, at least according to the Guinness World Records. What types of music do you like? Base. Despite being very, very young, Archie has already performed in nightclubs around the globe and attended popular music festivals in the UK. According to the boy's parents, he started showing interest in DJing at the age of two after seeing his father, John Norbury, also a DJ, at work. Do you remember what you were doing when you were four years old? <laughs> Probably not selling out tickets for your concerts. In order to become a record holder, the boy had to play music for a whole hour to an audience of at least 20 people. For the record, Archie had to visit Hong Kong's Bungalow nightclub, where he entertained the excited crowd with dance music for one whole hour. Nicolas Bertans some parents think that putting their little child behind the wheel of a car is an amazing and funny idea. We're not too sure about that, but sometimes this can have unexpected consequences. Meet Nicolas Bertans. Thanks to the lessons of a Formula Drift racer, this kid became a professional drift car driver at the age of 12. He doesn't even have a driver's license to drive around town, but officially, he's a professional racer. Yeah, life can be weird. At 12, the boy drove a fully prepared BMW E36 and was pretty good at it, despite being so young and not tall enough. Today, Nicolas is 14 and he keeps drifting and being passionate about cars. Isaac Johnson never put a light bulb in your mouth. Well, unless you're Isaac Johnson from Bloomington, Minnesota. This kid's got a huge mouth. He can open it 9.34 centimeters wide, and that is a lot. The guy entertains himself and his friends by opening his mouth wide and placing different objects inside, such as bottles, oranges, or balls, and then he takes them all out without any harm to his body. Isaac confesses he's known his mouth was a little different in size since early childhood, but it was it wasn't until he was a teenager that he understood just how big. Eventually, he decided to try and break Guinness World Record. And he did. The experts measured the parameters of the guy's mouth and recorded a new world record. Probably in a couple of years, Isaac's mouth will get even bigger and he'll be able to break his own record. Alina Morse at what age can a person become a millionaire? Turns out that you don't have to be an adult to do that. Alina Morse has been dreaming of becoming a CEO since she was three. At the age of four, she'd already developed various business ideas. She came up with Zollipops, the flagship product of her company in 2012. At that time, the seven-year-old girl asked her father to buy her a lollipop, but the father refused, saying that they're bad for her teeth. So, Alina started thinking about ways to make candy that's safe for her teeth. She asked her dad to help more than a hundred times in the span of five months before he even agreed to help. It took two years of online research and at least a hundred unsuccessful experiments in the kitchen before the recipe was found. The next step was investing money. Alina had some savings, plus her dad agreed to help, and as a result, her sugar-free lollipops hit the market. The company became profitable 18 months after it was launched in 2014. 70,000 lollipops were sold in the first year, and then sales doubled. In 20 16, Zollipops were purchased by Kroger, America's largest supermarket chain. By 2018, Zollipops were both the best-selling sugar-free candy and the best-selling lollipops overall. Alina made over $6 million before turning 16, was twice invited to the White House, is the CEO of the company, and she's still in school. Because even millionaires need to get an education. Demarge Smith even though young Damar J. Smith grew up in the Bronx, everyone knows him as the young Jamaican trainer. Yes, you heard right. This 13-year-old kid is not only an athlete, but also a coach who knows all about motivation. Yeah! 
His motto is strength, no weakness, and it really works. As it often happens, it all started with a viral YouTube video starring Dimaje. It was posted by his dad. The kid quickly became a social media sensation, a fitness expert, a personal trainer, and a motivational speaker, all at the age of 11. And all thanks to a special mindset that allows the kid to choose the right words and intonations to get through to everyone. Thank you all. <laughs> In addition, the boy loves sports, and is an example to everyone out there. Damar J challenged even Usain Bolt himself, the fastest man in the world, and he beat him in a 100-meter race. The race was held on the Ellen DeGeneres TV show. Today, he has over 260,000 followers on Instagram, and his channel on YouTube has more than 300,000 subscribers. Imagine when Demarge grows up. Sam Gordon Samantha Gordon is known for her talents in American football. Her skills were honored when Sam was just nine years old. Yeah, imagine a little girl playing such a tough sport. In 2012, Samantha showed absolutely fantastic results while playing against male teams and competing with some players who were twice as big as her. When she was just a rookie, she managed to score 25 touchdowns. On November 6, 2012, her father Gordon uploaded one of her videos on YouTube, and in just a couple of days, it had 5 million views. The footage caught the attention of various news agencies as well as the NFL, and soon the girl became famous across the United States. Her experience playing in men's teams made her wonder, how come girls don't want to play American football? Turns out, it was quite the opposite. Many other girls were willing to play this sport and not only among her peers. As a result, in 2015, the first known all-girls tackle football league in America was formed. Gordon was a founding member. As of 2019, there were 446 girls in the league. All of them are schoolgirls, but Sam hopes that over time, women's football will eventually make it to colleges and maybe become a professional sport. Mohammed El Sheikh it's hard to believe that this guy's from planet Earth. That's just how flexible he is. It's like his arms, legs, and body bend in any direction and in any angle. Mohammed is known as Spider Boy, a nickname that certainly suits him. He was born with an exceptionally flexible spine, and when Mohammed's mother noticed his son's abilities, they started developing them. When he was five years old, he took part in several competitions, and in 2015, he performed in Arab's Got Talent. The boy wanted to become famous all over the world, and although Although he didn't win the competition, Mohammed achieved what he wanted. He was noticed by the experts at Guinness World Records. At the age of 13, Mohammed officially became a record holder for doing 38 full body revolutions in a minute while lying down on his stomach. It's a mystery how anyone could think of doing this, because these conditions are way beyond the limits of human capabilities. Nevertheless, Mohammed managed to beat the previous record, which was 29 revolutions in one minute. He became famous all over the world, as he wanted to, but he didn't stop there. The kid keeps on practicing regularly and constantly improving his flexibility to ensure that he doesn't lose it as he ages. And of course, at the same time, he keeps going to school under the strict supervision of his mother. Bayezid Hossein. Have you ever seen the movie The Curious Case of Benjamin Button? If so, you must have thought that the plot was pure fiction. A child can't just be born old and age backwards, right? Well, we agree on the latter, but there is a person who was born old. Bayezid Hussain has been suffering from progeria since birth. It's a genetic disease that causes the human body and its internal organs to age very quickly. The disease is extremely rare. Only about one person in 18 million has it. And Bayezid it was one of the unlucky few. The boy lives with his mother in the south of Bangladesh, in the city of Magura, and is pretty smart for his age, but doesn't go to school and doesn't play with any other children at all. That's because his peers are simply afraid of an old-looking child, and we can understand how confused they must be, because Bayezid's appearance is very strange. His body and face are covered with crumpled skin. He has joint problems. Some of his teeth have already fallen out, and in general, the boy looks like a tiny old man. At the same time, According to his mother, Hossein is really very clever. Unfortunately, there is no cure for the Benjamin Button disease, at least for now. Psst. 
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.